Okay, to run a regression, we go to Analyze, Regression, and we're going to do a linear regression here. Um, our dependent was the same that you used as the Y variable in the correlation. So in this case, for me, it's stats GPA. The independent would be what the X variable was. Um, so for me, that is persistence. Okay, uh, then you can hit OK. There are several other options you could do for um, tailoring your regression, but this this is what we want right here. Um, you will then, you don't need this one here, but you do want to include these three in your output, the model ANOVA, model summary ANOVA, and the coefficients. Okay, in the regression, things to note is looking at this number first, the one under SIG, if it is below 0 0.05, we will say that this is statistically significant. And you can word it like I have here in the first sentence. Um, what you will do for this value is you'll put P equals the number right here that's shown in, in the ANOVA table. However, if that number is 0, 0, 0 like I have, you will just put p less than 0 0.001. The, the statistical significance it would never be zero itself. Um, and, and the fact that there's a p there will probably not make sense to you at this point. That's completely fine. We'll get into that later in the course. Uh, but do report what the statistical significance was. And if this number is above 0 0.05, make sure you put was not a statistically significant. Uh, predictor. Uh, the next thing you'll put is effect size and to do that we're going to look at this R squared value. Um, this is simply the, the R value. This should be the same that you found in your your correlation in the previous step uh, and if you would multiply it by itself you would get this R squared value. Uh, this is seen as an effect size so this is whether or not there was a significant difference and if so how big was that difference um, you're going to convert this to a percent so multiply this number by 100 and that will be your coefficient of determination whether to put small medium or large is a object of debate and it really depends on the context you're studying. For the purposes of our course, uh, if, if this number is less, 25% or less, we're going to say small. If it was between 25% and 64%, uh, we're going to say medium. And if it's above 64%, we're going to say large. Again, that is purely arbitrary just to give you a uh, some practice with this, but in your own particular field, you would have to find out what the, the specific limits are. Then the final thing you'll do is put your regression equation. Uh, and the way that you'll do this, this would be the y variable, um, the variable that you can find down here as your dependent variable. And it's really a predicted value, so oftentimes we'll see a caret above this, but in, in this case, um, we're just going to leave it like this. Equals, and we're going to start with our y-intercept, so we're going to grab that right here. It's going to be labeled as a, a constant here in our unstandardized coefficients. And then plus, this is our slope of our linear regression. So we're going to put that down there. If this would be a negative number, um, you can either put plus and then a negative in front of this number, or you could more commonly just make this a minus sign. So if this would have been a negative, I would have put minus 0.151. And then that's going to get multiplied by the value on this uh, predictor variable that we were using. So the variable that was your x variable, the name of that uh, that you've been using should go right here. And um, in this next video, then I'll, I'll talk about how to actually use that equation for a final prediction.